Welcome back to another video. This one is on the level 35 armor set and weapon. Now this is for your attack build and I will be showing you which items you would be needing. Well, hey, get out of my way. And I will also, oops, I'm going past the guy here. We'll be showing you the weapon as well. So for the attack build, you are going to be needing this weapon right here with its amazing 1032 attack. That is insane. This is for level 35. You're going to be needing this weapon right here as well as the alloy and bastion box. So to get the sandworm splitter, you're going to need to be level 33. You will also need two alloy, some bastion box and some sandworm stake. To get the Bastion Bucks, you can do this quest right here. You can also talk to Paul and do this quest right here. Actually, I forgot, this guy has two quests. So there's another one here that you can get inside of the other map, the one with the pyramids, and you would just need to turn in these. You could do this with a full team, and it's probably just as fast, good experience, as doing this method right here. If you have not seen my video on how to get fast Bastion Bucks, I'll put a link in the top right corner. You can go and check that out. It is fast Bastion Bucks that way. And this is where you will be doing your Sandstein Alloy daily, which you need to do every single day, or at least you should be doing this every single day, which is not difficult. While you're doing this, you can also get the Sandworm stuff that you need. And I'm sure you know where the Sandworm stuff is, but just in case, once in the Sand Sea Desert, you're going to cut to the right and you'll be heading all the way this direction. And you're going to be finding the big worms right here. These are the guys that drop the stake that you need as well as also you can use these for that daily. But I actually do the giant beetles because I find that I complete the quest quicker that way. For the rest of the set, you're going to be going with the Sand Sea Royalty Crafting. Now you've got the armor set right here, the belt, the helm the gloves, the scarf, and the shoulders. You have two options right here for the helm, and if you're going for an evasion and health build, you're gonna wanna use the crown. Otherwise, you're gonna wanna go with the royalty helm because it obviously has more attack. All of these items require bastion bucks, so you're gonna wanna make sure you stack up on bastion bucks. To get the rest of these items is really easy, and I will show you where you can get these things from which will be inside of the other location so we need to go to the pyramid map thingy you're going to be running into fahad in this map and he's got the sand sea nomad armor in order to you're going to need the boots because the other set that i showed do not have boots so you would be using this for the boots. In order to get this, you're going to be needing the sandy fin and the sandy bug meat. You can get these from the beetles in the sand sea desert and these from the sharks. To the right of the entrance, you're going to be finding some cacti right down here. Now, there are three cacti that spawn right here, or cactus if you want to call it that, but the plural is cacti. So you've got three that spawn right down here and three over here. Honestly, I just stick right here and I just kill the three that are right there. They drop quite a bit, so you don't have to worry. It won't take that long to get the amount that you need. Right over here is where you're going to be finding the snakes. So you have three snakes that spawn right here and you have three snakes that spawn right here. So you can literally just go back and forth killing the snakes that you need. Before you kill the snakes, however, I would save on this check mark right here here because this way you if when you die you're not going to be going that far away from the snakes next location is that pyramid just over there you're going to want to save on this check mark right here because just below this mark is the scorpions and these are the next ones you need to fight right here so you have two right here that spawn and then you have two right here if you're by yourself you can just basically take on these four right here just keep repeating that pattern if there's a whole bunch of you however you can move over here and take out these two as well and then move back and you'd have plenty of time to get back to the spawn of these two right over here wait what i did not know this was here cool so you're going to be needing 195 snake skins for that full set, as well as 235 of these scorpion carapace. You're going to be needing, I think it was 95 of the stingers 
and you would be needing the 85 of the cacti bulb. I believe it was 85 of those. For the set of the day, I'm going with this one right here. I love the look of this, actually. They did a really good job at matching it all together, and it made it into the set of the day. And there you go. That is it for the video. Hope this video helps you guys out there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.